And if we had one special thing in our favor, as we covered 30,000 miles in 31 countries, it was having our children with us. And unless we had had to chase them through the flower beds, how could we have lain on the ground to see the Taj Mahal through our garden of flowers? My husband came home from work and he worked at the Miami Daily News and said, guess what I applied for? I said, what? He said, I applied to Airstream to be the correspondent for an around the world caravan trip. Wow, great. What an amazing thing uh, to go and do with your family. Oh, it was like the best thing that ever happened in my life. It was a lot of fun. I just knew it would be just a marvelous experience. We had this map on the wall of the whole world. And so he would sort of map out, well, we're going to go to Singapore, and then we're going to drive here. But like, that doesn't mean a lot to a kid. It was just like, it was going to be this great journey. So I remember thinking how cool we're going to go around the world and then at some point the trailer came into our driveway and I just remember being so thrilled that we were going to get to go sleep in the trailer and that was a lot of fun. It was all an adventure when you're that little everything's an adventure. When we pulled out of the driveway Lori was nine months old and Judy was just slightly under five, and Scott was slightly under seven years. We were a unit, no matter where we were. They were so dependent on each other for companionship, they got along well. I think it's from necessity. I think that helped. Traveling with a caravan is certainly an easy way to get from here to there. We used to say we're like the circus that has come to town to see our trailers coming one by one. We waved. We did a lot of waving so that felt like we knew what the king and queen must feel like. It was always wave. As we go down the road, we're going to meet people as people just maybe for 15 minutes or 30 minutes or something like that. You don't get their name and address, or uh, but you do take pictures <laughs> because everybody looks different. I learned uh, a, a lot about, uh, about the world. It affected everyone greatly and opened their minds to what the world really is, um, other cultures, everything having to do with culture of food, dress, uh, seeing the world in a different light. And this would be everywhere we went, Iran, Iraq, um, Afghanistan, Hungary, the Czech Republic, they were all really nice. There are so, so many pictures I have in my brain from this trip. Uh, about strangers uh, hugging my children or holding my children, and then they're gone again, you know. We never knew them, and we won't know them again. It's almost like you're related to everybody, it does, and it certainly doesn't matter what nationality or what religion. I got this massive exposure to diversity, and I think I had an endless curiosity that continued as I evolved and I'm more in charge with my life that kind of naturally evolved. As I've gotten older, I'm more and more grateful, you know, for the trip. Immensely grateful. I was, I, yeah, it was an ad adventure of a lifetime. I'm so glad my parents did it. 
I'd say that the thing that I brought with me to the rest of my life was a respect and care for the people of the world.